Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Welcome back to another Talk Back. This is Talk Back March 2023. Yes, <laughs> I am here. I don't know why you have a hard time knowing which month it is every month. I don't know either. <laughs> We've been doing this over a year now. And it's not like we're the, I mean, we're, we're in the second week of March. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I am here, as always, with my, my lovely life partner, Rachel. Rachel Wife. Welcome. <laughs> Whether she wants to be a life partner or not, she's stuck with me. <laughs> um, so today, as always, we're going to answer some comments, some questions from the previous month's videos, or at least since the last time we did a talk back, which actually wasn't too long ago because we were super late in February. Yeah. So there's only a couple videos. Um, quick update, I guess, as to what's going on in the blind life world. Um, I just got back from a trip to Colorado where I did a week at a camp for blind I keep saying kids, but the oldest one was like 25. It, yeah, something. it's like teens and young adults. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it was awesome. So the camp is called the Extreme Mobility Camps. XMO Camps. Uh, and they were fantastic. Uh, we, did, we went skiing, we went snowmobiling, tubing, cross country skiing, which I've never done before and I actually really, really enjoyed. Uh, we went to rock wall climbing. I mean, just a had a blast. Ride. Sleigh riding. Had a blast. So if you are interested in that, um, either being a volunteer and helping out, uh, donating, because it's a nonprofit and they could always use donations to help give these kids amazing experiences. Or if you are a young one yourself or a parent of a young one and you think this would be fun for them, definitely check it out. XMO Camps dot com probably maybe dot org just google it you'll find it um they do a summer camp and a winter camp the winter camp was in colorado at a ski resort that's where we went skiing the the summer camp is in california out at the beach they go they go uh surfing surfing maybe water skiing i know they do like wakeboarding tubing behind a boat a lot of just a lot of fun stuff you gonna try to get in on that too maybe i don't know we'll see <laughs> Um, but it's a lot of fun. I, I went to a camp when I was a kid for blind kids and I had a blast and I still have very, very fond memories of that and still talk to a lot of the people that was at the camp through Facebook and stuff. Um, so yeah, check it out. And uh, so did that last week and then next week I'm going to be out in Anaheim, California for CSUN. CSUN, the big assistive technology conference that's held each year out there. And uh, so if you're able to join, go to CSUN, come on out and say hello. I'll be walking around. I'll be helping out at the Blind Shell booth for a little bit and then walking around recording possibly. So come out and say hello. It should be a lot of fun. That is all next week. Okay. And I think that's it. So, yeah, we're ready uh, to get into it. And then I'll be in Missouri in April, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's do it. Well, actually, do you know the dates and what that's called in case anyone's wanting to make plans to attend? Yeah, because I probably actually won't do a talk back before that. So yeah. it's um, the Missouri Assistive Technology Conference. It is in Columbia, Missouri, and I will be there the third and the fourth. I think that's the two days that it is. Of a April. April 3rd, April 4th. Yeah, I'll be doing some presentations. I'll have a booth. Uh, if you're able to come out and say hello, that'd be awesome also. Okay. All right. So first we need to announce a winner. Yes. The winner of the audio glasses from the last talk back. And usually we do it on screen, but Sam went ahead and, and did the randomizer to choose the yep. winner. And the winner this time is William Davis. And he said, those glasses are nice. I would love those. Sunlight hurts the eyes. <laughs> so... Congratulations, William. Uh, as always, send me an email, sam at theblindlife.net, and with your contact information and all that, and I will get those sent out to you right away. Congratulations. And uh, stay tuned. A little bit later, we'll announce the contest for today for this video. Okay. Um, the next video that we're going to look at was a short, and it was about Victor Reader. Yes. And this person <clears throat> said, my special awesome family, I've got a question for you. How much is this new stream? And is there a number you can call? I'm not that great online, just get, getting to learning. I do have an iPhone. Praise God on that one. I was blessed to get that about two years ago, but I'm still not the greatest online just yet. And you wrote down what the number and stuff is, right? Yes. Okay, so that. if you're wanting to get in touch with the Victor Reader people. 
Well, this is Sterling Adaptive is the ones that I was um, making this video, a little short video for, because they, they have a pretty good deal. Okay. So this is specifically for the Victor Reader. Yes. Um, the number for Sterling Adaptive is area code 415-979-2922. Two nine two two, and they have a discount going. And with that discount, the Victor Reader is four hundred and ninety nine dollars. Yes, <clears throat> normally it's like five hundred and fifty dollars, and their discount brings it down to the same price as the previous version of the Victor Reader Stream. Okay, the next video was the ATIA twenty twenty three attendee experience. Um, we've got a message from Jack C. Crawfoot or Crowfoot Jr. said, Sam, I watched this, I watched with interest expecting to see what is available in new technology. Please, if you do a sim, if you do a similar video in the future, set aside the travel log of interviews that provided no insight into what is that currently available and attempt an, an overview of what is available. I am sure that a short interview with the company reps at their tables would have provided a quick explanation slash demo, both visual and oral, for those with the least amount of remaining sight. That is your normal modus operandi and highly appreciated, by the way. I really appreciate your videos and your informational approach. You are an enjoyable man to watch and listen to and very good at what you do, but not all of us have the financial wherewithal to attend these meetings. It would have served a greater purpose if you had been able to share what is available in the latest tech. That is why most of us watch you and are encouraged by your work. I guess I've grown a to your informational videos and su was surprised at the new format. So yeah, so um, that was simply, I think, I think was it Jack? Is it? Yeah. Jack uh, jumped the gun a little bit because that video did get released. Um, this was a two-part series for ATIA this year. Uh, the first one was, I've, I've never done a video about the attendee experience and that's, that's why it was called the attendee experience because um, I've only done videos featuring what's the products in the exhibit hall, but I wanted to make a video showing what people would expect if they were to attend the actual conference and go to the different sessions and what benefit they would get out of that. So that's why I did that video and that's why I did interviews with attendees. Uh, I just grabbed random people, some of them I knew, but a lot of them I just said, hey, you wanna be in an interview real quick? and share your experience attending ATIA. So that's what that was. Um, so it's not a step outside of my normal necessarily because it's still the conference. It's the assistive technology conference and a lot of my viewers are in the business. They work with the VIPs, whether that's voc rehab or O&M, AT specialists. Teachers of the visually impaired. Yeah, counselors, you know. So they might want to know what this uh, conference would offer for them attending. So that's why I did that video. Yeah, and I think it's important for any of us to understand that he is speaking what his expectations are and what he likes to see and what why he watches your videos, but he's one of thousands of viewers. Yeah. And those viewers fall under a huge variety. You know, there's people that complain about when Sam does a video that the piece of tech has a high price tag. But the thing is, is people have huge different budgets available to them as well and live in very different areas. So for the people that live in central Florida, ATIA is not a big expense for them to go. You know, I mean, yeah. if, they're, if they're going to the full thing, yeah, there's an expense to it. But if they wanted to attend and check out the exhibit hall, there's no expense related to that other than them just getting there. So I think I think it's important for us all to step back and realize that the internet isn't just for you. <laughs> you know, it's 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 for all of us and 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 though Sam, you know, gears a lot of his videos to the visually impaired community, people that work with the visually impaired community, which a lot of them are visually impaired also, but yeah. the people that work with the visually impaired community are incredibly important because those people are the ones that might choose what devices are available in voc rehab or through the VA or, you know, those places that provide the, the, the um, tech and the services to those people that are visually impaired that do not have the budget to purchase these things on their own. So those people being well educated is incredibly important to the blind community. So I think I think information like this is important. And, um, you know, I think just keep in mind that obviously Sam's going to provide the tech. It's what he loves. And he yeah. did exactly that. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else on that? 
Um, no, uh, everybody, a lot of people really enjoyed the video. Um, I thought it was, thought it came out pretty good. So no, eh, let's move on. Okay. Um, on that same video, Holly Ridgely said, what do you think of the tech that is available for the blind and visually impaired? What do you think of the price tag that is attached to them? I do not deny that research costs money and people need to be paid. However, I find it very frustrating when people need the technology and cannot get their hands on it. So I love this question because she, she phrased it as, is let's, let's start a dialogue. Right. Not just, you know, bashing it <laughs> yeah, and throwing it, you know, and kind of, I, I, I feel attacked sometimes people coming at me like, why is it so expensive? It's not fair. I'm like, I didn't make it that price. I'm sorry. I know. So I, I agree. I agree. I think it's crazy that all this stuff is so expensive and, um, it's unfair that it's, it's inaccessible, no pun intended to our community, a large portion of our community. Um, but I don't have I don't have the answers of why. Um, and I like I said I have the you know you can look at the the, the specifics of yes research and development um, paying for the, the the manufacturing paying for the uh, marketing marketing yeah the office staff you know the distribution all of this costs money and usually these companies are relatively small they're also quite often startups. I talk to so many companies that are startups trying to create something for them, but they're just getting started and they need that capital. Um, and so they, it's such a small niche market that it kind of drives the prices up. Yeah. Um, there's also an argument that, you know, as we mentioned before, a lot of governmental agencies purchase these items for people. And the government generally doesn't have a problem with spending the money. So I mean, they do to a point, but yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it is. It's so you could say that it's that. yeah, it's a kind of a double-edged sword because you want those agencies to be providing these devices to people because that's you know the people that are getting things through government agencies they need them and and they may not be able to get them otherwise. But yeah, having them as some of the buyers means that that can drive the prices up too. Yeah. But it is, it's just such a small pool. So, you know, if, if the same technology were gonna be used by like everyone, then there's a huge, much larger buying pool. So the cost of the R&D can be divided into many, 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 many more people. Whereas with the blind community, I mean, I'm assuming some of these devices, the companies that sell them are happy to sell a couple of months or whatever, you know, yeah. because there's yeah. just such a small pool of visually impaired people purchasing each individual device. Yeah. So, so even though I'm, I'm, I'm in the know on a lot of this stuff, I really don't have any great insights on the reason why. Yeah. So. Okay. And Odyssey of Steven said, what an awesome video. Were you able to go along and see the different technology booths? Yes. And so once again, um, a great, you know, he, he appreciated the video, but he still uh, would like to see some of the technology. And, and I got that question a couple times on that video is what about the, the the technology and to that i said yes video coming soon <laughs> and it and it came the next saturday <laughs> yep yep came out. um maybe in the future if you do a series like this you start with the technology video yeah or maybe even making making a, a mention it in the it, video yeah that, the, that, you know, that's coming up part next one part two will be coming soon yeah i intended actually i intended to have it all in one video yes but it was going to be like a huge video. Yeah, it just it very quickly is like, whoa, this is too much of a video. Yeah. Because, because it was really, I thought it was great information and important information for people to know. So I wanted to incorporate everything. And just as a proud mom moment, our daughter Skylar edited those videos for Sam so they could get out in a timely manner. So yep. uh, if you liked the editing, give her a shout out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and then the next video was the one we were just talking about the ATIA 2023 exhibit hall and assistive technology conference portion of it, yes. which this just came out. We're, we're filming on a Sunday. This just came out yesterday. So we don't have a lot of comments on it yet. Yeah. Um, but whew, I'm not sure how to say this <laughs> name. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Spiral Nebel, and I'm sure that's not right. <laughs> um, it says, this style of showing you products is awesome. Just an overview with link. It's perfect to get an idea about new innovations. Every fair should have such a promotional video. Thanks, Sam. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're absolutely right. Every conference should have a video like that. <laughs> Preferably call made me. by you. <laughs> <laughs> call me, conferences. <laughs> Um, an odyssey of Steven who had commented on the prior video then said great video Sam very informative 
informative. I'm just kind of disappointed. I was hoping to see more about wearables like smart classrooms and smart watches and other smart devices that would benefit um, all the blind and community. Maybe things will be better in more smart devices at CSUN and Anaheim, California. I look forward to that video. See, I think he meant smart glasses, not classrooms. Oh, Probably yeah. Sometimes the talk to text yeah. gets us. Yeah, we all know that. Um, so yeah, there wasn't a lot of new stuff at ATIA this year uh, as far as for the blind community. Um, because ATIA, well, and you can tell that from the, the this video, it's not just visually impaired. It is right. everything. So there's mobility all and, yeah. and all kinds of stuff. So and so that and that brings up another point. Um, I'm surprised I didn't get more pushback on featuring non-blind, uh, you know, technology or booths or vendors. Yeah. Uh, but I wanted to. I wanted to specifically do that because. You know, we kind of get stuck in our little world, which is fine. But one thing I've learned going to these conferences is there's some amazing technology out there for other disabilities that I'm just not as familiar with. Yeah. And the other thing, too, is that <clears throat> people also need to remember that oftentimes blindness is a secondary issue that people live with. Yes. Um, it may come as a result of some other th diabetes yeah, or some yeah other some other neurological issue or a brain um yeah brain what am i thinking of traumatic brain injury yeah brain yeah. injury or or something along those lines Cortical, where you yeah. yeah where you have other that's what i was going to say it's not uncommon for blindness to be along with another disability yeah so once again for anybody out there watching my channel that is curious about that i, I kind of wanted to feature that as well um there's some some really cool stuff. I, we didn't show too much of it, but that one uh, thing that clips into a wheelchair that and turns cool. it into yeah. a motorized. I was like, that is awesome stuff, man. Yeah. Some smart people out there coming up with great solutions. Yeah, and that, I mean, that'd be awesome even if you aren't um, permanently or long-term disabled, but you know, you had a vacation plan to Disney World and you broke your leg. Mm. And so you're in a wheelchair, something like that. If like, like I feel like places like Disney World and stuff should have those available for yeah. daily rentals because that would be super helpful. I'm sure that's what the, uh, the people that made it are hoping to. I'm sure they'd love for Disney to have a bunch of those, a fleet of those for daily yeah. rentals, wouldn't they? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, like, like Steven said, Steven's awesome, by the way. Always commenting and very positive. Um, uh, yeah, he often, I think he often joins in on our, the live streams too, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see how it is at CSUN. CSUN tends to tends to be the larger um, of the two conferences as far as for vision impairment. Uh, so we'll see how it how it goes there. Yeah, that was the last of the questions. I would say also, you know, anytime if there's a specific and, and some people are great about this. If there's a specific, if there's a if there's a specific. Um, topic you would like Sam to discuss or um, device or piece of tech or whatever that you would like to um, see a video on post it in the comments on any video Sam always looks through the comments sometimes it's not right away he can't always respond to all of the comments but yeah. in general they all get read at some point or another so um, you know, don't hesitate to, to comment that kind of stuff on there. He will do his best. It does, at this point, you, you're you several weeks out in planning your video, so it's not like you're gonna see it next week. <laughs> yeah. It may be a couple months, but, um, and you know, though Sam focuses on tech, anything having to do with blind and visually impaired is not off topic. I mean, it's been a while since we've done it, but Sam and I have done videos about dating and marriage with a visually impaired partner, raising mm -hmm. kids with a visually impaired partner, just a lot of different um, things like that as well that I think is important to the blind community. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and speaking of upcoming videos, um, here to my left, I have this computer system that I'm doing a video about. It's called the Easy Reader System. It's really, really cool. So that video will be coming out in about two weeks. Uh, nah, very, very low tech. I'm reviewing a new <laughs> type of clothes hanger, um, which is kind of odd, but it's actually pretty cool. So we're re reviewing that. Kellogg's reached out with some new packaging that they're doing for the visually impaired. Yes, Kellogg's sent me some, some, some free cereal samples. 
um, and which were delicious. And so it's, it's the packaging more than <laughs> yeah, the cereal. Same. The cereal hasn't changed. It's just the packaging that it was in. <laughs> I told the family, I'm like, all right, after this is all gone, I still need the boxes. So don't throw them away. <laughs> and, and Skylar did. And I yeah. pulled them out of the recycling. <laughs> Um, got a new cane video that I'm going to be recording some clips of while I'm in uh, California. That's coming out soon. Um, you were just introduced to a cool app to help with crosswalks that maybe yes. in the future will become a, a video. Yes. Yep. 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 So lots of cool stuff. Um, yeah. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Uh, definitely check out the membership link down below as well. Memberships are always uh, appreciated. It helps to fund all of this. And we have a great time on our monthly members only call. We had one yesterday. Uh, there was... You guys were on there a long time. Yeah, we just, it was such great conversation that we just, I didn't want to stop. Uh, but I was finally like, oh, guys, we got to wrap it up because it's been like two hours. <laughs> and uh, that's done on a, a Zoom, Zoom call. call. So everyone, it, it's not it's not like the live streams where you can only speak via the yeah. uh, text chat. And we, we have people from all over the country. We had someone from India last um, last month join us. So it's it's fantastic. So if you're interested in joining that, memberships are super low. It's like a dollar a month or five dollars a month you can choose whichever tier you want to do and information in the video description down below or um no, it's not on the website i need to put it on the website yeah you should um but yeah but that's it guys uh oh oh we got a door yeah you gotta do a giveaway announce the contest so we're going simple again this this month and doing a blind life t-shirt if you would like to win a blind life t-shirt either from Amazon or from Teespring, um, although it's called Spring now. It used to be called Teespring. Uh, you can do that and just let me know. So what do we think? Shirt again? Sure. Be the keyword. So in the leave a comment down below. Uh, it would be awesome if you were subscribed as well, although that's not necessarily a, uh, a deal breaker. Uh, but leave a comment saying that you would like to win the shirt and make sure you put in the keyword shirt. S-H-I-R-T. Yes, because that's how we will pick the winner at the end. And just as a, 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 we'll just preface it by saying, if you are out of the country, Sam will still do it. He did last month, but he may just have you order it and him Venmo it because sometimes it gets tricky. It would be way expensive if he ordered it, have it, had it delivered to our house and then him shipped it across yeah. overseas. So he might have you order it directly, but and he will cover the cost of it. I'll just reimburse it. you. Yeah. yeah, he'll cover the cost of I'll it I'll even you. give you the money before you order. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> you know, just so you know you have it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he, it, it, we may do it that way just because it, it's a lot less expensive and it'll get yeah. to you a lot quicker that way yeah. too. Yeah, and you can pick exactly what you want and all that stuff. But anyway, okay, guys, thank you very much. <clears throat> I think that's it. All righty. Happy March. Uh, it's going to be a cold one and wet one for a lot of us here in the U.S. But uh, hope you enjoy it. We will see you at the next one. Bye. Bye.